Okay, now we get snow. The bike is starting to look like an enduro bike. Definitely dirty. <laughs> okay, this is getting interesting. <laughs> Whoa. Am I supposed to go in there? Look at that view that opens up. Opens after this. All right, welcome back to another daily dose. Today I'm going to be riding mostly Trans Euro Trail for Italy, but uh, part of this is an enduro track that I found on Wikilog. That was fun. There's a dog, not happy about me. Wonderful, just wonderful. Okay, now we're back at the Trans Euro Trail. We are getting pretty high up here. Not sure what the uh, 1355 meters up the mountain, and it's getting really cold actually. Oh, it's getting so cold, I have to put on my heated grips. <laughs> it's probably close to zero. Some locals told me that I can't ride this route all the way through because of the winter. So I'm expecting to see snow here, but let's see. Okay, what is this? Is there some kind of a place I can eat? So that would be interesting. Looks like it. Oh, little dogger. Let's stop and see what, what this is all about.
so the restaurant was closed but they still offered me some pie and coffee so I had a cappuccino and a protein bar so I'm good to go now and this seems a lot of fun <laughs> nice little jumps Oh, and a big drop. Now this is what I was looking for when I was trying to find a nice, nice track. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. This is worth a picture for sure. Wow. Oh, I don't want to go down there. That's like, that's a steep one. Wow, look at that. Let's take one Instagram shot and let's continue the trip after that. Now Italian Ted has redeemed itself. Oh. <laughs> Don't want to make a mistake here. <laughs> oh, there's a bit of snow here as well. So it is getting a little cold. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> That's a bit rocky. And we're still climbing. We are coming close to two kilometers from the sea level. There's some trekking paths here, I guess. I think we're supposed to go straight. <laughs> oh, the drop on the, on the side there is looking more and more scary. Okay, now we get snow. <laughs> okay, we're back in Finland, I guess. I guess some cyclist has been there. Yeah, with the bike. Can we get through? Oh, the tires have no grip, absolutely none. What is that? Some kind of a cave. Cani Marsi. Cani Marsi. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> okay. Okay, how about it? That's a quite a fall. Beautiful, beautiful. I have no idea what that cave is. But I have no interest in going in, <laughs> waking up a bear or something. <laughs> These drops are pretty scary. That's a gnarly one. You just take this corner normally with speed and then you come up with these 
very, very <laughs> deep and sudden drops. You don't want to do anything crazy in these corners. And it looks like uh, some rocks are falling down. I've found a few of these on the road as well on this trip. So it's all not that safe to ride here necessarily, but uh, at least the view is, has to be one of the best I've ever seen. And the sun is going down, it's casting these shadows on top of those hilltops and it's a, it's a beautiful sight. And if I shut up, listen. Church bells going on in the very far distance. So it's a, it's a beautiful sight. The bike is starting to look like an enduro bike. Definitely dirty. <laughs> A lot of abuse today. But let's continue in that direction and hope that there's some something there. Gas and uh, maybe I can take a shit somewhere. <laughs> that would be nice. Oh yeah. This is uh, slippery. Too bad my GPS is really bad. Doesn't really know where I am. <laughs> okay, this is getting interesting. <laughs> I should have taken the spiked tires with me from Finland. <laughs> Looks like there's some use for them here. Oh, these uh, Honda stock tires are really, really bad. Come on GPS, tell me am I in the right place or not? <laughs> wow! It's kind of feel, uh, weird that I don't feel cold here, even though it's probably close to zero. Wow, what is this place? Some aband abandoned village or something. Wow, that's interesting. I have to check it out. All these ruins in the middle of nowhere. Come on, <laughs> there's no grip. But this is what I love about adventure motorcycles. You can really take adventure to some places you would otherwise never go. And this is definitely one of those places. Let me show you the view here, with the drone as well. You can't beat this.
I'm not supposed to go in there. Wow. That's some kind of a cave. I guess I'm supposed to go in. Wow. That's amazing. And super scary. <laughs> that was interesting. Wow. I have to start thinking about my fuel consumption because I have absolutely no idea how how far it is the next fueling station. I tried to look on the map, but it's a little bit difficult because there's no reception here at all how awesome is that view <laughs> I guess you don't want to jump here a lot because uh, the drop is deadly and I haven't seen anyone in the last maybe two hours so there's no help coming if you mess up here Wow, look at that drop, that is gorgeous, oh, I feel it all the way from my head to toes, wow, incredible. Always remember to drink. I always forget. Ah, that's better. <laughs> oh, slippery. But we're still getting up. Wow. Look at that view that opens up opens after this wow that is something else isn't it yeah it is beautiful I was planning on taking a drone shot but now we're t starting to be on a timetable because it's gonna be dark after an hour I don't want to be riding here in the mountains after the sun goes down. It's going to get a little bit too hairy for me. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, speaking of crap, no, I didn't crap my pants. But I feel like having a... I feel like I need a number two pretty soon. The pie that I ate is doing its business. <laughs> uh, maybe the cappuccino is helping push it out, so... <laughs> I hope I find something along this track. If I have to go back the same way, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm not sure if I have the gas to even do it. If that's not a bear, I don't know what is. That's like two, two palms of shit. <laughs> I wonder if it's close. Yeah, I found tarmac, finally. So I guess we are getting closer to some civilization. I'm pretty happy about that considering the teeny tiny tank that this CRF has. I guess this is the video. That was the Trans Euro Trail Italy, uh, pretty close to the French border. Very nice tracks, very nice views. You can't beat these mountains. I would love to ride Austria someday and maybe that's gonna happen on this trip. I'm just gonna wait for the weather get to get a little bit more warm and then go there. 
and see what's up. But this is probably my last ride for a week or two because I'm going to Rome next week to see my family. They're coming there to, for a holiday, so I'm gonna be staying there for a few days. And then I'm gonna probably head towards Croatia, Greece, Albania. So lots more videos to come. Please press that subscribe button and uh, push that like. It's really gonna help the video and help my channel a lot. So I really appreciate it. And uh, do you think this uh, daily dose video series is uh, nice? Do you like these kind of videos? Just random rides here and there and uh, see, see the views and talk crap about bikes and all this stuff. Is this interesting? See you on the next videos. Bye.